Ah. Well, moving swiftly on. <laughs> um, if there's one sport that's on the rise here in South Africa, thankfully so, it's women's golf this weekend. The sport's growing popularity will once again be on display with South African's Women's Open Action set to take place at the Westlake Golf Club here in Cape Town to give us her views on how the tournament will play out. Five times Sunshine Tour winner Stacey Bregman joins us on the show ahead of her tee-off at the Women's Open tomorrow. Stacey, so good to, to have you on the show. Thank you so much for taking a time out. I would imagine at this time of the day, you're already out on the course. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. It's an early start, but uh, it's, it's always enjoyable to come on the show. Oh, thank you so much for joining us and all the best of luck. I know it's still early in the, in the year, so I hope it's going to be a fantastic year, but this is a big one. And it seems to have even more impetus behind it. Massive prize pool, 2 million rand in the offing, which has got to be a big thing. But a, a, a more viewer-friendly format, picnic areas. There is a lot going on at the SA Open. What are you expecting from the tournament? Is this an indication of where women's golf is at the moment? Are we seeing the rise that we want? No, definitely. I mean, uh, the tournament, it's huge this year. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of good sponsors pumping their money into the event. And women's golf in particular is in a very healthy state at the moment. Yeah. And we just got to thank all of them. And, uh, yeah, there's a nice picnic on, uh, on March the 10th, which is this, this Saturday. It's very family friendly. Just you know, bring all the all the all the young ones, as face painting, jumping castles, and come actually come watch and see what what it's all about. I think ultimately come see some amazing golf. I noticed you're looking at the wind blowing over the mountain. I think I promise you in Westlake there's a lot less wind. Hopefully, uh, hopefully. Fingers <laughs> crossed, because you never know there. Um, <laughs> and, you know, I'm always amazed at is this seen as a sprint because a tournament like this is a short amount of time to get your game on. You've got to get to that to that point, but it's a long season. It's a long campaign. How do you prepare? for a season like this? Is it about fine-tuning? Is it about getting on the, the stamina there? How do you physically prepare for a, a campaign like this? Well, I mean, we started early in the season. I mean, early this year uh, with a couple of the other events. And uh, you've just, you know, been playing on tour, main tour for quite a while. You kind of pace yourself. You kind of know when you can play. And, you know, four weeks on, three weeks, uh, week off, or whatever. And, um, yeah, so it's just been, I've tried to play all of them. Um, I just really want to support the tour. I really want to grow it, yeah. the Sunshine Ladies Tour. And uh, I just think that, that they're doing an unbelievable job in, the, in this country. Um, and we need that. You need the young golfers to see you guys who are achieving big things um, do that live. They need to have those moments where they get to actually experience that. Um, there are some big names involved, um, not only on the, the Sunshine Tour, but in this weekend's um, offing Leanne Pace, obviously, I think, pushing for her fourth successive SA Open title. It's going to be at Westlake, as I mentioned. What are you expecting from the field? What are you expecting from the course? It's going, to be, it's going to be a tough challenge this week. I mean, as you said, the wind can play a huge role in it. I mean, Westlake, isn't a, it's not an easy course. Um, so I think it also depends on tee of times and, uh, you know, when you are... Because normally there's not as much wind in the morning as there is in the afternoon. Uh, but you just got to take it as it comes this week. I mean, it's it's a tournament. It's another week, and uh, yeah, you just got to be you got to be mentally prepared for the challenge. Any challenges that can bring you know can we can face this week? It's your day job. It's what you do every day. <laughs> I absolutely love that. Um, yeah, I keep talking about development, and I, and I love the fact that we are seeing. The big market is the brands now pushing towards young um, women as well, which is great. Are we seeing the development matching that? Are we seeing enough development in young ladies' golf? I think it's, it's up and coming, and especially with these events coming up, it gives them a chance to, to be able to see what it's all about and to compete and to go, OK, well, is this what I want to do, you know? And, you know, if I can compete against all the girls, then, yeah, I think, I think this is a great stepping stone for, the, for development to get onto main tours around the world. Speaking as a terrible golfer, all you need is that one shot, that one <laughs> par, and you are there. Um, thank you so much for, for joining us this morning, Stacey. All the best of luck out on the course. I know you've had a, a tough couple of weeks, so I hope uh, that that certainly um, turns around now over the next couple of weeks and that you can savour being out there on the course with your mates. Um, but it's awesome to have you here. Thank you very much for having me. Oh, so go out and support the cream of the crop when it comes to South African talent, but go and support all the ladies and the Sunshine Tour. And um, We're going to take a very quick break now. We'll see you on the other side.